In this video, I'll show you how to use really cool AI tools for podcasting to get your podcast recorded, edited, and published fast so you can get back to doing things in the rest of your business. And whether you have a team or you do the whole thing yourself, I'm confident you'll take something away from this so that some of these tasks that you're currently doing yourself can be sped up or automated entirely. Plus, if you're not happy with your audience size or the reach that your podcast is getting, I'll show you how we market our show on social media. So make sure you watch until the end for that. By the way, if we don't know each other, my name is Jerry Potter. Yes, it rhymes with the boy wizard. And we're going to walk through the planning, recording, editing, and publishing of your podcast right now, starting with the planning. I can't wait to show you how I use automation to write my script, show notes, and YouTube description all at once. But the first step for my show is guest booking. We have guests on our podcast, The Six Ways, every single episode. And so I use a calendar tool where guests can quickly choose a time that works for them. They choose the date, the time. And then I also have them go through and actually answer some questions for the episode, which is going to be important when I show you what's next. One more thing, if you use guests, I have this thing down here where I say we require our guests to use a wired microphone for recording the podcast because I want the sound quality to come out good, right? So I just confirm that they have one. And if they don't, we'll figure something out. There are some free calendar tools out there, but the paid ones have a lot more options. But the cool thing is the one I use, actually, you just pay $29 for a lifetime and you never have to pay for it again. I'll link to that in the description if you want to check that out. Now, automatically, it puts all the information in ClickUp, which is where I plan out my episodes, including everything they shared when they filled out the form. It also automatically goes into Squadcast, which is the tool I use for recording, and I'll show you more about that in a second. And it creates a recording session with the upcoming guest and emails them the link so they have it automatically. I don't have to do anything. And to do this, I use the tool Zapier, which connects lots of different software and tools. But my favorite part is it takes all the information from where we plan the show in ClickUp, then uses this automation to create the script and the show notes in a Google Doc. So when I go to record, I've got everything that I need here. And then when we go to publish, the description for YouTube is already automatically generated here, as well as the show notes for our podcast host. I don't even know how many hours of work that setup saves me, but if you want to see exactly what it is, I'll link to all of those tools in the description of this video. Now, as I mentioned, I use the tool Squadcast to record the episodes. The main reason is because it'll actually record my guest on their end and me on my end and then upload them both. So even if the internet connection is weak or drops out, I still get a quality recording of both sides of the conversation. I also always make sure to double check that I have the right microphone and camera selected, again, for the highest possible quality. And I also love Squadcast. It's in beta, but it's working really well for me right now. It will record in 4K if you have a 4K camera, which makes it easier to repurpose the content later as TikToks and Facebook uh, Reels and YouTube Shorts and all of that stuff. Now, it's just me in here right now, but your guest doesn't have to download any software or anything like that. They just click the link to join Squadcast and you're ready to go. As soon as you're done recording and the files have uploaded to the cloud, you can download them to your editing software. Or I actually use Descript, which is owned by the same company as Squadcast. So I can come up here. And by the way, it's one fee for both of them, which is great. I can click Edit in Descript and it will automatically open the files for me in Descript. Now, as our show has gotten bigger, we've gotten a little fancier with our editing. So we go through and we actually have different scenes depending on who's talking and different graphics. But most shows don't need to do this. Let me show you how quickly you can edit a podcast in Descript. Now, there are tons of Descript tutorials online, so I'm not going to go in depth here. Just want to kind of quickly show you what's possible if you have a guest. So come up here, click you and your guest track, because remember, we recorded them separately. And then you want to create a sequence. And this basically gives you a chance just in case it's not lined up right for some reason, like the cloud recording started on their end before yours or something like that. You can line them up correctly. Then I'm going to insert that into the script with one click. Shows up over here. Notice we have a full transcript of both parties. So purple is one of us and green is the other one. Then this is one of the cool AI things that Descript does. I can come up here to actions and I can choose add scenes by active speaker. And it will automatically switch the camera depending on who's talking. So you see down the left side here where it goes back and forth between my guest and I. So you don't have to do any of that in editing. Descript does that for you automatically. Now, I don't worry about perfection. So we don't do a whole lot of editing other than just taking off the beginning and the end for the most part and then adding some graphics. But let me show you what's possible just in case you are somebody who wants to edit and turn out the best possible product. 
Because Descript generates this transcript, all you have to do is edit the text and it will edit your podcast. So here I can see on today's show is where we started and there was all this space beforehand. So I can just go ahead and delete that and it's gone. Simple as that. I come to the end and I do the same thing. Maybe there's somewhere in the middle that you got messed up. You can just highlight it and delete it and take the whole thing out. Simple as that. And if you're used to more of a timeline based editor like this down here, you can also go through and fine tune any edits that you may need. Once the show's ready, you click publish on the upper right. And within that, you've got some different options. So you can just export the file and then upload it to YouTube or Spotify or wherever you host your podcast. Or there's a lot of tools you can publish directly to. So for example, I can click YouTube right here and we can publish right to YouTube or Buzzsprout, which is where we host our audio podcast. Or if yours isn't here, then all you have to do is click export and then set your settings and it'll export the file for you and then you can upload it wherever you want. Another thing I like about Descript is if you are going to publish directly from here, you can tell it to export as a video. And then while it's rendering, you could come back in here and say, okay, now I want to export an MP3 for my audio podcast. You don't have to wait till the first one's done. Then they'll both run and you can go do something else. So we've planned, we've recorded, we've edited, started the publishing process. I want to show you the rest of that here in just a second. And as promised, how to promote your podcast on social media as well, while still saving as much time as possible. By the way, if this has been helpful, will you let me know by giving this video a like or maybe sharing it with somebody else who might find it helpful or leave a comment if you want. Love to hear what's helpful so I can make more content just like this. So after I exported the episode from Descript directly into Buzzsprout, my host, it shows up right here. Then I can click to edit this, go through. It automatically generates a transcript, but you want to do your show notes or episode description, as they call it here. All the stuff you would normally have for a podcast. A few interesting things they have in Buzzsprout, though. You can add an episode footer, which is essentially, if you have the some things you just say in every episode, like links to your bio or different things like that, you can have that automatically appear at the bottom of every single episode. If you want to make artwork for each specific episode, you can directly integrate with Canva here, which is nice. Add all of the other information. And for me on my website, I actually have a page for each podcast episode. And so now I can uh, put that in right here so that if anybody hits the share button from the media player, it will go there. Next, we do the same thing on YouTube. I showed you how we have the automation set up to automatically generate the show notes. So we pretty much copy and paste them here. And one more thing I do, you know, at the end of the podcast, you usually say, hey, if you like this episode, you might like these other episodes. Well, on YouTube, you can actually link to the other episodes right there on the screen. Now let's talk about how to promote the podcast. And by the way, if that felt like a lot, it is when you first start, but once you get this workflow going, it will save you so much time over the long run. And again, links to all the tools that we're using. Some of them are completely free as well. You can find in the description of this video. And if you need more leads for your podcast, let's say your podcast is for your business. Maybe you've got listeners, but not leads. You can go to tripleyourleads.com, tripleyourleads.com and grab three quick ways to triple the leads that you get from your podcast. Totally free resource that we put together for our podcast design clients and uh, happy to have you have it as well. So how do we promote? We we take clips of the podcast and then we turn them specifically into YouTube shorts, Instagram and Facebook reels and TikTok videos. And the reason we do that is because those vertical short video formats are designed to reach people who don't know who you are. The problem with just sharing clips on your normal social media is you're not going to reach any new people, but if you go to these platforms, you can absolutely reach new people. So let me show you the tools that we used for that to save time as promised. Now, the best way to do it is to actually plan your podcast where you already know what you're going to repurpose afterwards to promote it. And so that's what we do at Modcast Marketing. You can go to modcastmarketing.com if you want to learn more about that. But also two tools you should check out. One we already mentioned was Descript. So once you've got your podcast edited here in Descript, you can come up here and they basically have chat GPT-4 built in. And I can say find good clips and then click Ask AI to find good clips. You can put in how many clips you're hoping for, about how long you want them to be. And then it just takes a few seconds depending on how long your video is. And then once it's done, you can say select in script. And it'll actually show you, I asked for five, so it'll show you the five sections over here. I can click through them and it'll show where they're highlighted and basically identify the clips that it thought you would want to repurpose. And the beautiful thing is, if you already know how to edit here in Descript, once you've got that section, you can either just export it so it's ready to go if it's fine the way you want it, or you can use different templates or their editing tools to quickly add whatever you want to it. So I really, really love this. 
And then the other one I use is called Opus Clip. And Opus Clip does something similar, but it does it even more automatically. It'll actually go through and every video and it will just automatically use their AI to find clips to turn into short form videos. It'll change the format. It'll add captions, the whole thing. And it'll even give you a score on how well it thinks the video will do. And it finds a lot of clips. I think from one episode, it found like 23 clips with this one. And if you're not completely happy with the way it looks too, they do have an editor built in. Or if you happen to use a tool like Adobe Premiere Pro, you can actually export what they find here and import it into Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, I showed you my complete podcast workflow here for audio and video podcasts. I'd love to know, what are you going to implement? All of it may not be right for you, but tell me what you're going to do to improve your podcast workflow. Would love to know in the comments of this video right now. And if you'd like to learn more about podcasting more efficiently for your business to get more leads, all of that, there's more tutorials on the screen right now that we think you might find helpful. Thank you so much for watching today. We appreciate it. And I hope you find these other videos helpful as well. Bye.